Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I've got two beautiful soaps that I'm going to be making with you. Uh, one is going to be fairly simple. The other, uh, not so much. I've made it before and uh, I'll talk about that when we get to it. But the first one I'm going to make, these are both all natural so they're not going to have any colorants or fragrance oils, all essential oils. And I moved everything around, so I don't know what this stuff is. Um, yeah, so this one is... Now, hopefully this doesn't upset anybody because um, I pronounce it a little differently than everybody else does. But this is how I've heard it pronounced. Most people, I believe, say turmeric. But my brain just doesn't like that. It doesn't make any sense to me, so I call it turmeric. Um, the person who told me how to say it is from Canada, so maybe it's the Canadian pronunciation. I'm not sure. But that's what I'm going to be saying. Um, turmeric and ginger. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change up um, this... Everything is the same in this. It's got kale and clay. It's got all the oils, but the only difference is instead of al um, avocado or almond oil, it has hemp seed oil. What do I, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Um, oh, I know what I need. Okay, I know you guys want to see the fall soaps, and I'm so excited to make those, but I wanted to wait just a little bit longer, so, and I really need these particular soaps uh, right away, so that's what we're going to do first. Um, now, this is the easier of the two. Um, that's why I'm doing it first. The other one I'm doing is beer and chamomile, and let me tell you, holy acceleration, Batman. It is speedy one. I'm not sure every time. I only made it a couple times and it just always does not end well. So hopefully that won't be the case today because I did make a few changes. But let's go ahead in the meantime and do our turmeric and ginger and hope that this one also behaves well because I am going to be adding essential oils. It's no longer going to be an unscented one which is what I had for sale before. It is going to be scented very very lightly with Ginger, tea tree, and lemongrass. I couldn't remember for a second. All right, let me just give this a blend here. It also contains honey. And instead of water, this is aloe vera juice with lye. So that is what we are going to use instead of water. So it's very good wonderful soap and hopefully it behaves well today it usually does not ha give me a problem but you never know sometimes things just don't turn out the way you thought they would so i guess we can go ahead and get started also it's going to have walnut shells so i'm going to go ahead and pour this and blend it and then i'll be right back i'm going to go ahead and put this to the side for a second and then go ahead and pour off um Okay, we're going to try to get um, about 36 ounces in each container, but we don't want to spend too much time. I do have honey in here, and honey does heat things up a little bit, but I don't know. I don't think it'll be like a problem because it's just a little bit of honey. So we're just going to kind of move quickly. And try to see if we can't get it to work. So I'm going to put ginger in one. I'm going to put turmeric in the other. And then I'm going to put some walnut shells in each one. And then some essential oil in each one. And this is lightly scented. This is like the lightest amount of scent that you can do on the usage rate. Okay, just in case that uh, essential oil heats up, I'm going to go ahead and blend the other one. Okay, 
Okay. I'm also not going to worry about this because I just don't want to not have enough time. It's still pretty fluid, but I've never really added essential oils. So, and I know that essential oils do tend to accelerate a little bit. So, just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, the ginger's getting up. Getting, getting a little bit speedy. So, let's just go ahead and pour... And then pour into the mold before it sets up too much because it looks like it's setting up too much. Oh no, that is very thick. Why is the ginger accelerating so much and the other one is not? Okay, this is kind of depressing because as you can see, it is really moving and I'm making a mess. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's weird. The ginger really excel. I made a mess with that turmeric. It uh, it spilled all over. At least it's not accelerating so much. I can't get it in the mold. But man, that really moved a lot quicker than I'm used to. And I don't. I spilled it everywhere. See, this is why I'm worried about the beer. Maybe I should just not add the essential oils to the beer. And then maybe I'd have a little bit more time. I'm going to try to do that. I did lower the essential oil amount. So I'm going to attempt to make the beer without essential oils. I'm making a mess and it's making me crazy. Um, because man, if that did that to this, and I've never had a problem with this before, um, then I'm going to assume it's not just the beer that the essential oils are maybe the reason. So maybe if I don't do essential oils, maybe it'll give me just a few more seconds of time to get the beer in the mold. Because as you can see, that really moved uh, there and was, was a quick one. Okay, well... It's in the mold anyway. We did it. <laughs> Wasn't a complete failure. Uh, as you guys can see, it's not my usual design. It's definitely not very flat. It's kind of a, kind of a bit of a mess. Um, so I'm going to put this off to the side somewhere and see if I can't, uh, can't do the beer one. <sighs> What's disturbing is that the beer is usually the faster accelerator and I've never had turmeric and ginger do that to me before. Well, I did, did it this time. I'm going to not put the essential oils because I really think that that is a big factor in it doing that. So maybe if I get everything ready, we just blend it quickly and then pour it and ugh, hope, hope, hope that it works out. I'm guessing the chamomile is also something that does it. Also, the beer does it, too. But if I don't add the essential oils, maybe it'll give me a few more seconds. Here we go. Okay. It's not completely set up. Let's see if it's going to do it. Hopefully, I mean, hey, that's actually pretty liquid. Honestly, I hope I mixed it enough. I got it in the mold. It's the essential oils. Who knew? Who knew? I mean, I guess you probably all knew because you're like soap makers. I did it. Okay, I got the beer in the mold and it's not accelerated. I probably could have blended it a few more seconds even. Um, so look at that. And I also did add a little bit of water too. So um, instead of all beer, I did about 50-50 beer and water. Because I figured if I had a little more water in the recipe, that it wouldn't accelerate as much. So... After this, um, I'm going to have to change the listing for the beer and chamomile because this beer and chamomile is not going to have any scent. 
Um, so yay. Hey, okay. So my hope in the beer is restored. I was worried about it. It's still really liquid. Oh man, that essential oil just, um, yeah, it just makes it speed along. I don't know what I'm going to actually do with the essential oil blend that I have. So maybe I can use it in like bath bombs or something. But there you go. There you have it. Um, it's all done. So tomorrow we'll cut it. Make sure everything looks good on the inside. Make sure the beer and chamomile actually got enough blending because it looks fine. I mean, I think it was good. Um, but we're going to set these off to the side. And then in the future, both of them will be unscented. It's possible it was, it's literally the tea tree. But it's going to bear some experimentation. Um, and when I find out, I will let you guys know. In the meantime, I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will cut it open. Okay, I think we're just about ready here. I got, I'm going to start with this one, just the turmeric and ginger. Or turmeric and ginger, if you want to say it your way. Um, I'm starting with this one because even though it accelerated, I'm fairly certain that it is okay, that it's safe. I'm a little worried about the beer one because I didn't blend it for very long because of my fear of it <laughs> accelerating on me, ironically. Um, it didn't, and I could have had more time. So I'm just worried that maybe it might have a little bit of unincorporated lye water in the beer. Hopefully not, but we'll start with this one just so we don't have the contamination in the off chance that that is not safe. Now, the one thing I can say about this one, and I didn't really get to say much yesterday because I was kind of chaotic with the whole acceleration on this one. It surprised me. Um, and so I kind of forgot some stuff. But normally I do a half and half split swirl. And I'm going to uh, also in the future not do the essential oils. Um, basically, on most of the natural ones, I do the essential oils on the lavender and that's fine. Uh, I really think it's just the tea tree, but this one doesn't need to be scented. I don't know why. It's just a silly little whim. So in future batches after this one sells, it, it's not going to be scented. It's going to go back to being regular. Okay. And also the beer one, I have a few left available that are scented. But after that, as you can see, like... They're not going to be scented anymore because they just don't need to be scented. It's just not necessary. Uh, all right, let's get cut. And you, it's not the prettiest uh, because, like I said, I do usually do the half and half. But in this case, it wasn't going to happen. But I don't really care. It's not about the look for this one. It's just more about what it does. And personally, this one is my favorite. I also really like the beer one. I do like the activated charcoal those are kind of the ones that I use. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like. Well, this is actually just one of them. Let's see. Okay, so the a lot of it, it looks so pumpkin-y orange. This is going to discolor probably because of the hemp seed oil. As you can see, some of the, um, that's turmeric right there. That kind of didn't get blended quite good enough. Um, but it's okay. It's really good. And it doesn't really have much of a smell. It's kind of just like I said, it's lightly scented, so it's just really not necessary to scent it at all since it's going to be, you know, difficult. So let's get these out of the way and then we can go ahead and do the other. The, the, I really, if you do turmeric, turmeric, just uh, make sure you maybe mix it with some oils or something. It's not the best at mixing but it does well enough and it is really pretty i do like these dark colors <laughs> the orange the pumpkiny orange color that it turns i don't know if it's going to stay like that it might darken because the hemp seed but it might not we'll find out in a couple of days and then i will maybe post a picture okay let me just clean this cutter off and then i'll be right back okay so just because I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be safe. And it probably will, but just to err on the side of caution, I decided to go ahead and wear gloves. I just knocked over my walnut shells. 
that's okay. What are you gonna do? Okay, I don't see any weeping on the sides. It looks pretty good and smooth, honestly. Um, good and hard. <laughs> Really excited about this one. I hope it turns out good because the beer one has not been my favorite to make because of the acceleration. And so if I can get it to do like this, then that'll be awesome because then I can just make it all the time and it won't stress me out. And I need this one because this is the one that my parents like and honestly, I like this one too. It's a pretty good one. Okay. So let's just cut it and hope that it's safe. It's gonna be safe, it's gonna be safe. I got that one too thick on that one side, I should've. Okay, don't flick the pieces up. Stop it, please. Okay. And perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I don't see any don't worry about these drag marks, that's just from the chamomile. Um, yeah, I don't see any weeping, any anything. Let's just make sure all the bars are good and safe. That looks like a good bar of soap. The chamomile looks good. Um, yeah, perfect. That looks even better than it normally does. I don't know, I mean, honestly. See, I usually get like a drip. See, there's like a little, you probably can't see it, but there's a little drip of moisture right there. What that is, is actually just oil from the chamomile, because the chamomile, I soak it in olive oil, and so after a while, you know, it really gets good and soaked up, and then when you make it, it tends to get a little bit of the oil. When you cut it, it tends to squeeze it out of the bud, but it's perfectly safe, and it happens, that's, that's what it looks like every time. I do not see any unincorporated lye water. I'm so happy about that because I was really worried. And look how beautiful this one is. This one looks great. Um, yeah. It smells pretty good. It doesn't have any kind of beer smell or anything. It just kind of is a beautiful plain bar of soap. Okay, see that one? You can see, see how it's like wet right there? That's because of the oil from the chamomile. And you can see there's kind of like a little pocket I think yeah you can see how it's like a little drag mark that's how you know that it's it's just the chamomile bud that was a thicker one and it's fine it's it's perfectly safe I'll check the pH once you know it's ready but should be good to go I love all the little little spots and pieces it's perfect and there you go so next so next soap video, you guys are going to be excited. I'm going to be excited because the next one I'm doing is my pumpkin soap for fall. And I've been waiting for this one. I'm so excited about this one. And I think you guys will like it a lot. I think it's um an original design. I don't think anybody's done it before. I did it last year, um, but I did not have a YouTube channel then. So this will be all new to you. And that'll probably be up. Probably expect that in another week or two. Um, and then we'll get it going. And I can't wait. So, yay. So, I'll see you guys next time.